Ready? Shoot! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Scared your kid. <laughs> they should know what I have to put up with. <laughs> Me. Good looking, smart, intelligent, compassionate, kind. Difficult to deal with. Sometimes. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. That's me, where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog, has well over 500 recipes in Ryzen. And Crock Posse, today we have a very quick, very delicious dish for you. This is a slow cooker pork roast, and it's simply four ingredients. Are you ready? You need, well, pork. This is about, what, two pounds? Yep. of a pork loin. You need one packet of brown gravy mix. You need one can of uh, cream of mushroom soup. This is cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. You can use regular cream of mushroom, golden mushroom, something with mushrooms in it. Why? Because I'm a fun guy. <laughs> and then you also need a half a cup of water. That's it. All you got to do is make sure you take your lid off first because it'll get messy if you don't. Take your pork and put her down in your slow cooker, fat side up. That way when it cooks, the fat goes down into the... Now, to clarify, this is a loin roast. Mm -hmm. This is not a tender This loin. is not a tender loin. This is... This is a different cut, a bigger cut. Yes. The tender loin is the inside loin. In... Please stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you... Keep your hands where we can see them. <laughs> oh god. I'm thinking about I'm thinking like a butcher. If you look Oh never mind, Google it. <laughs> you take a packet. No, not that yet. No. Oh no, no, it's no it's the yeah, no, it's a soup. Soup first. You had me all thrown off there. You take your pack of the soup. <laughs> you gotta stop. Michael. I can't. Here we go. Get a spoon. I, I could have done that. Okay, don't. Just like that. And make sure it's kind of all over yeah. your loin there. Like so. Okay. And. What? Don't smear your can on top of. No. Don't smear your can like that. Take a spoon and spoon it out. Don't smear your can like I did. That makes for a bad YouTubing. I'm sorry. And then now <laughs> you take your brown gravy mix. Oh. <laughs> you get it all over your kitchen because, you know, I'll clean that up later. And put that right over the top of your... Got a little bit right there too. So part of the packet came off in there. All right, and then on the top of that, you want to pour your water right over the top of it. And then uh, simply put your lid back on and set this on low for I believe five to six hours. Low for five to six hours. Not low good. and slow will make yeah. it tender. If your um, Roast happens to be a little bit on the big side, like ours is. Like we have a three pound in the hold and go right now. Um, you may need to cook it just a little bit longer. I know we did. Yeah. So it, it's just you're wanting to cook it until it's fork tender. So there it is. Ooh, got all steamy up in there. Hey, uh, why don't you go wash your hands before... Yes, because I just handled raw pork. Yeah. And myself. <laughs> no, you're not putting that in there. Oh, goodness. <sighs> oh, mercy. It's been a long day. <laughs> Had a great day. Uh, it's our weekend right now, and we're taping these, and... We did some running around and then came back real late at night to tape these. 
because it's always more fun to do it when you slap happy. <laughs> well, let's take a look at this roast. Well, we had to wait for our roast to get done. And look at that. That is fall apart. Yumminess. That'd be great for shredded pork. And I'm going to take that and put it down in the juices. I bet it'd be good with mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Or over rice. Mm-hmm. Keep going, girl. Keep going. That sounds good. <laughs> but let's take a bite of that. Because look how look how tender that is. Just fork goes right through it. I'm not. I'm just barely laying that fork in there. Yeah. That's how you know it's done. If it's not like that, just cook it a little bit longer. It's so good. My dog just came back in here. <laughs> I want some, Dad. What you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, we didn't even say it. That's a, why didn't I get to eat that? Oh, is this an Aunt Lou dish? This an Aunt Lou dish. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that is really good. Good job, Aunt Lou. You want to talk? Forgot to blow on that. Mm. The pork is fall apart tender. I don't even, and as much as I like salty foods, I wouldn't even salt that. Well, honey, there's plenty of salt in that packet. And that's why, I mean, you got salt in the packet. You've actually yeah. got salt in the soup as well, I think, yeah. in there. Yeah. So. There's plenty of salt. In there. But it is really, really good. Like you saw how tender that was. Mashed potatoes. That's what goes with those. Totally. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. And that took a minute to put together, a minute and a half, something like that. Yep. Because I was explaining loins to you people. But... <laughs> you can skip that part. Yeah, you skip that part, it'll be a quicker thing to put together. <laughs> less embarrassing. A little bit. Mm. But it took less than a minute to put together. Cook it on low for five to six hours. Watch it and make sure it gets tender, fork tender. And it's good to go however you want to do it. If you want to slice it up, if you want to shred it up, put it on sandwiches, put it over a, a rice peel off or something like that. Yeah. Or I'd it. say if you increase your roast to three and a half, four pound <clears throat> roast, you probably could get away with seven to eight hours. Mm -hmm. And then you can make it an all day recipe. Yeah. Just make sure you cook it on low and that's what's going to make it tender. Yep. But again, we want to thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. If you like what you see, then if you would click on the little red button down here around here somewhere under this video and subscribe to this channel and you will be a part of the Croc Posse and also check us out over at Facebook at Recipes That Croc also at Instagram at Recipes That Croc and over on Twitter at Recipes Croc and y'all keep watching and we'll keep cooking and all will be well now I'm gonna get me back some more of that roast <laughs> <laughs> bye y'all <laughs>